It has been a dangerous year for pedestrians on our roadways. So far this year, 19 pedestrians have died on Oahu, 26 statewide, and that compares to just 10 on this island last year, 16 statewide. The State Transportation Department told KITV4's Jody Leong what it's doing this holiday season to prevent pedestrian fatalities. 79-year-old Monica Corrales was crossing Lique Lique Highway toward Kalihi Street early Saturday morning when an SUV hit and killed her. The road was wet and it was dark. The State Transportation Department says its traffic engineers are studying that crossing to see if there is anything that can be done to prevent future fatalities. The DOT says there are several programs in place, like WalkWise Hawaii, that aim to educate both drivers and pedestrians. Um, and since that program has been in effect, we have seen pedestrian fatalities go down, except for this year. WalkWise Hawaii primarily targets elderly pedestrians, since statistics show more than 50 percent of pedestrian fatalities involve senior citizens. The DOT has installed hundreds of crosswalk timers across the state to help pedestrians. It just recently added about 60 more. And that helps um, especially our elderly population know how much time they have to cross what, before the light turns green again. The DOT says it has increased signage, education, enforcement, and engineering to improve pedestrian safety. But its embedded crosswalk technology, where lights flash on the crosswalk, hasn't quite worked in Kailua and Waianae. And it got vandalized in both areas, and so that's why we're looking at different type of technology, actually not actually embedded, but this one will be mounted on a pole, which will have flashing lights. And the DOT has additional education campaigns during the holiday season that will be seen in movie theaters and heard on the radio. The DOT is providing the funding for an additional 52 DUI roadblocks, especially for the holiday season. Jody Leon, KITV4 News.